Imagine getting paid just for sharing your thoughts on products and services you use every day. With Survey Junkie, it's that simple. Click on the link in the video description to discover how you can start earning today by taking surveys. Australia will provide an extra $10 million in humanitarian assistance for the people of Gaza, taking the total to $72.5 million. The new funds will be directed to the World Food Program to pay for food assistance for civilians facing the risk of famine. Australia continues to press for a ceasefire, for humanitarian aid to reach Gazans in desperate need, and for hostages to be released, Foreign Affairs Minister Penny Wong said. We support the ceasefire endorsed by the UN Security Council and want to see it fully implemented by both parties. Any delay will only see more lives lost. The United Nations Security Council has backed a U.S.-drafted resolution calling for a three-phase ceasefire outlined by United States President Joe Biden in May. Under the resolution, there would be calls for a six-week ceasefire with an exchange of hostages held by Hamas, as well as prisoners kept by Israel. The second phase would involve a permanent ceasefire, while the third would cover a reconstruction effort for the Gaza Strip. The resolution calls on both Israel and Hamas to fully implement a ceasefire without delay and without condition. The resolution again reiterates international commitment to a two-state solution where Israel and Palestine live side by side in peace within secure and recognized borders, Senator Wong said on Tuesday. Australia will continue to work with countries that support peace to press for agreement to this proposal. Civilians must be protected, aid must flow at scale and hostages must be released. More than 37,000 people have been killed in Gaza since Israel declared war on Hamas in October, local health officials say. Israel's military operation was precipitated by the October 7 assault in which militants killed 1,200 Israelis and took more than 200 hostages.